Welcome back to the channel everyone and welcome back to another episode of SnowRunner. As you can see, we are no longer in the Kola Peninsula, but we are still in Russia. We are back in Tamir because <laughs> we have none of the maps unlocked except for the, uh, the first map here. So we're headed to the quarry to unlock that, see what that has to offer, and then hopefully in the episode after that, um, depending on how it goes, depending on how you have to unlock the next map, we will be heading to the next map because we really want to find that Taz Tataran. Now, the vehicle we're driving right now is the Taz Acteon. And if you don't know what this is, guys, this is part of the DLC, the Phase 1 of Season 1. Um, Season 1. Phase 1 of the Season Pass. That's, uh, that's what it is. So, uh, if you want to know how to get this, watch my, not my last episode, the episode before that, and, uh, it'll show you where to get this truck, and I really wanted to see how this did in, uh, in Tamir, because a couple of the upgrades for the engine on this are found in, uh, Tamir, so we thought we'd see how this handles, and so far I've driven all the way across the map with it, and it's been a little beast. But enough of that. Let's uh, let's get on to the quarry map, shall we? All right, here we are at the quarry. So let's uh, let's open up the map. Um, let's see here. How many? Towers are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, that's uh, that's quite a bit. That's a lot of watchtowers. So we're gonna unlock all the watchtowers, uh, hopefully, and we're gonna see what's on this map. And hopefully, we'll be able to get to uh, the other map, um, Zimogorsk, I think it's called. But uh, I don't know because the last time to get to this map, we had to actually do. A uh, mission to unlock it. So we're going to put a waypoint on that first watchtower. And we're going to head out. Now I do have a fuel container on this truck. Because I have no idea if there's a fuel station on this map. For some reason I'm thinking there probably isn't. And that's the only problem I do have with this truck is... It is uh, <laughs> pretty hard to control. That actually looks like that might be a fuel station right up here. So let's go take a look and see what this is, guys. This is something. It is. It is a fuel station. Okay. That's uh, that's pretty nice. So we don't really need gas, but we might as well fill up. back out I'll tell you one thing I really appreciate how they do the maps in this game these uh, these developers they really did a good job with all these maps because all these maps really do feel different from each other and that's really something I feel like is probably hard to accomplish with a game like this now is that road go up there I wish I could read Russian. <laughs> but I can't, so... Now this little Tuz Action, it doesn't have the raised suspension. But, it's, it's going through the mud pretty damn well with the uh, stock suspension that it has. And I'm only a four-wheel drive. I don't even have the diff lock engaged. And it's pretty much going through all this mud uh, fairly easy. So far, I'm liking this little truck. It's uh, pretty cool. Hmm. Okay. 
Gotta take a look at the map. Alright, so... There's a road there. It looks like... We should have turned back here. So let's turn this around and head back the way we came, shall we? I always love coming on a new map on this game to, to just explore and see what roads there are. Um, no, that's, that's not the road. It's got to be this one down here. If you could even call this a road. But if you happen to watch my last video, you will see that uh, this truck here created a little mishap where it went through the ice and uh, coved, coved, COVID. I don't know, late coved. <laughs> a lot of YouTubers are saying you can't say COVID on YouTube; you'll get demonetized. But I'm not monetized, so I can say it all I want. Okay, there's a tower right there. This is a tricky little climb. Still, we don't even have this thing in low. It's still an auto. No diff lock. Places like this, I get a little worried, though. Let's, uh... Let's put it in low-high. It's a little squirrely going up here. Alright, we took a wrong turn in Albuquerque here, and it looks like uh, this is actually the road we need to go on to get to the watchtower. Kinda took a roundabout way to get here, but that's okay, we took the scenic route, I guess. They don't put these watchtowers in the easiest, and you know what? Why do I feel like... Yep, yep, I'm right. <laughs> Always check your map. Uh, if you don't check your map, you're... <laughs> gonna risk having to turn around and... go all the way back to where you came. Here we are, finally. First watchtower. So let's check the map now like we always do. All right, that opened up quite a bit. Gateway to Drowned Lands. Okay, so is that... That's the way we came from. Nope. That's the way we came from right there. So there's actually two gateways to Drowned Lands on this map. Huh? Okay, that's interesting. And now, of course, I think that they took the vehicles and the upgrades off the maps. So that's going to be interesting. Now, what is the closest one to me? Um. 
possibly this one. Hmm. That's a good question. What's these? Well, actually, if I come down here and go back over here, this one's probably the closest, so... That's where we're headed. Now, I think this is the path. When I looked it up on the map, it seemed like this is the right way to go. I'm not worried about fuel because I have a full tank of fuel on the back of this. That we can use if we so need it, which I'm sure we will. Now let's consult the map again, shall we? Now, yeah, it looks like if I just take this road over to here, this road should bring me right to it. So let's, uh, let's just set a marker for that road there so we don't miss that. These turnoffs on these, uh, these roads here are very easy to miss. Some of them, they don't even look like roads. You gotta get a ways in the forest before you actually see the road, but this one's going to make a light out of it. This one's actually, you can see it's a road, so we shall take this one and continue on. How's everyone enjoying the new map, by the way? I'd like to know that. Put that in the comments. And another thing I'd like to know is... For those of you who have the season pass... Um, what do you think about the way they're releasing the content? Would you have preferred them release all of the... Phase 1 season pass content at the same time? Or are you okay with the way they're doing it? Me, personally, it doesn't bother me because I still have a ton to do. But for the players that have already beaten the game, um, to kind of release one map at a time, I think it, it probably sucks for them. But, uh, yeah. Let me know, guys. Alright, here's the next watchtower. That was quite painless. Oil sampling discovered. All right, let's take a look here. Oil sampling. Upgrade. No, wait a minute. They do have upgrades on the map still. Interesting. So it must be... The Rift map was the one. Okay. Now, normally I would be tempted to go down there and get that, but... The other watchtower is right here. It's not that far, so... We'll mark that. And, uh, where are we? So just go back and follow this road here. Um, okay, that's a crossing right there, so... Let's just kind of... Drag that over there so we know where that is, then follow that road right around it looks like. So far, so good. One thing I am going to do, I'm going to change the time. There we go. Again, when I'm doing contracts or tasks, I don't mind the night stuff for the uh, immersive effect of it. But when I'm opening a new map and, and discovering areas uh, I don't want to be surprised <laughs> by not being able to see the road very well even though the lights on these trucks are pretty good okay, so what do we have here is this okay it is 
Uh, we should just follow this road around. But yeah, so far, this, uh... This Tuzaction, this is quite the little beast. I'm, uh... I'm quite impressed with it. Like I say, I wish it would steer a little bit better. It's quite squirrely, but, uh... It's pretty stable. Um, it'll probably be even better with the race suspension. I probably should take a look at the map to make sure I'm headed in the right direction. Worst thing is missing a turn and having to turn around and go all the way back. No, it looks like we're getting close to it. Hmm. This is going way too smoothly. <laughs> way too smoothly. Not that I'm complaining, but I'm just being realistic. Uh, so let's see here. Okay, that road or that road? Okay. Hmm. Now the question is... What road? That goes off into the trees. No, it does go around. It looks like that goes around this way, though. Or... Does this road... Go up and maybe around? Hmm. Boy, I don't know where to go. I... I guess we'll just go straight for now. Mm. Wait, I, mean, I have to look at the map again. I don't know. Okay, we're only here anyway, so we still have to go at least to the next road. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it, guys. We're gonna go. We're gonna go this way, and I hope this road twists back over towards the watchtower. If not, I'll have to find an alternate route, I guess. Wait, is there a road here? Ooh. You know what? <laughs> it looked like on... Ooh, okay. It looked like on the map there was a road. But now I don't know. I think... Let me go down this way and see if there's a road over here. If the road doesn't pick back up, then that's definitely not the right way. Okay, I'm not seeing a road. A little further into the woods here. Ah, uh, no, I'm not feeling this at all. Well, that's good. We don't have to go too far to go back where we came from, at least. Get back on the road here and... Let's refuel. There we go. We have plenty of fuel. Fuel is not an issue. S 
So, is this a road? Yes, this is a road. So let's hope this is the right one. <laughs> and again, this this little thing, man, does not have any problems getting through mud. I believe I have the off-road tires on it. I'm really worried about this road, though. And again, I haven't even had this... I haven't even had the diff lock on this truck yet. I haven't had to engage it. Okay, there's another road. Wonderful. <laughs> there she goes. that. Not a problem. Yeah, she climbs right out of it. I love it. That's great. Um, where is this? There's no way I'm getting through them trees. It's right over there. Hmm. Oh, it was this road. Damn! See? Oh, man. Okay, so... Hmm. Oh. I do believe now we're on the right path, and this looks like this ought to be a good test for this truck, too, to see how it goes with this. And, yeah, it's not even... It's not having a problem at all. Still have yet to put the deflect on on this truck. I'm actually glad I brought this, especially with the little fuel carrier on it, because this is uh this is gonna be fantastic. Close to it, I can feel it. Okay, it's literally at the end of this road. Now, what I will say is, it's going to make it get. It's going to make it getting to the other ones tricky because they seem like they're pretty far away from this one. This is. Great location discovered. Nice. So where is... Okay, this upgrade's right over here. Actually, we probably could go right past that. However, I don't know if I want to really take this through deep water. Especially not with the raised suspension, so... 
Hmm. And also, how am I going to get down from here? Do I have to go all the way back to where I came? Shoot. It sure looks it. It's very heavily forested. I guess there's only one way to find out, though. go in cab we can see a lot of trees <laughs> oh boy this Definitely wasn't my smartest idea. <laughs> yeah, definitely not my smartest idea. Ooh. We are on the correct path now. Finally got over here. So when I get closer to the water, I'll I'll take a look and see how deep the water looks and and how bad it is. And from here, it looks pretty bad. So I don't know if I'm going to go after that upgrade or not. This may have been a mistake, guys. I mean, it. it very well may have. I don't know how this truck will take this water. I don't know how deep it is. Um, hmm. Alright, the upgrade's over there. We gotta get over here. Okay, we're gonna have to put this... Diff lock now, I think. Yeah, I'm not going to go after that upgrade. I'm going to try to get over here. Oh, okay. It's it's not actually that bad. All right. Or is this truck just that badass? I don't really know. But. Our goal today is to get these watchtowers unlocked, so that's what we're going to set out to do. Well, honestly, now I'm thinking I could have probably, could have probably handled it. Now it could have gotten a lot deeper, though, or the mud could have been extremely thick. There's no way to know. Hey, it looks like we're on the right path. I am going to refill our fuel. Back on our way. I'll be honest with you guys, I'm really impressed at this little truck. Now, I can't wait to get the uh, the suspension upgrade on this thing. You can only imagine if it's this good with the stock suspension. It's got to be pretty damn un unstoppable with the uh, the raised. Is that it right there? It is. Wow. Um, does that? No, that's not. So many trees on this map, though. That's 
I really don't like trees. Not in this game. Oh, actually there was a road that goes right over to it. Oh no, stumps! <laughs> oh, we just avoided that too. Perfect. Another upgrade location discovered. Perfect. I can't wait to find out what all these upgrade locations are. Oh my god, look where that is. That's... That's in a horrible spot. <laughs> oh, perfect. This was literally just up the road. And how many more are there? That's it. We only got... Nope, nope, nope. We have another one up there. But the next one literally looks like it's just up the road. Now, I've heard a lot of bad things about the Ford F750. Um, I don't have all the upgrades for it, so... I can't really say. I haven't really tested it out. I just drove it a little bit around late COVID, but that's it. These trees don't look like they rendered in properly. It seems like they're still having a little bit of issues with the rendering. It still looks a hell of a lot better than it did prior to that one update, though. There we go. So we only have one more left. What did this unlock? Anything? Anything? Nothing. Way to Zimnagorsk. Now, see, that's got an exclamation mark on it. Um, it don't have a lock, though, so... That's where we'll be heading next, guys. And then, oh, next episode, maybe we'll be off to Zimnagorsk to try to get that Tataran. So I just want to make sure, is this, is this the best way around? Seems like this might be a dangerous way around, but stuff like this is a little difficult, especially if you tip over and there's no trees around, but, oh well, you only live once, right? What's nice about some of these is, some of them, they look further away than they really are. So we do need to take a look at the map again. Um, you know, we had to go right past this upgrade. Let's see here, does it look like there's an easy place to get through? I mean, it could be. We could try it. We'll try it. It's not far. We'll put a mark on it. Now, water is the only thing I'm a little leery of with this truck because it's not that high. Um, oh, that's not that far at all. So this is kind of all swampy marsh kind of stuff. But... We're going to try it. So we're going to put it in low-high. 
lock the differential, and we're going to see if we can get through here. There's a lot of trees. If worse comes to worse, we can winch ourselves. Which I have not had to do yet. But I, th oh, I think I might have to come through here. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. Dangerous water level. It's right over there. Yeah, this is pretty high water. Not too bad. It looks like we're coming up out of it. I don't really want to use the winch, but if we have to, it's there. I'm not above using it. The reason why I'm even saying that is because so far, we haven't had to use the winch once yet in this episode. I think that's a first for me. Okay, look at this. This is going pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Get upgrade. Available for the current truck. Nice. So it's the uh, it's the engine. All right. Excellent. <laughs> How do you like that? We just have to get back through here. Hmm, is that? This actually looks like a road. It is. This thing doesn't have the widest turning circle. But yeah, that's definitely a road. It goes right through here. Hmm. Well, wish I would have known that. Now what I need to figure out though is where the main road is. Take a quick look at the map. Okay. We are actually on paved roads. Can you believe it? I wasn't sure if there was that many paved roads on this map. So it's turning out to be quite the drive to this last watchtower. It's uh, it's a lot further than it looked, actually, because that road that we were on, it never split off. There was no uh, road to get up to it, so... Let me just show you where we are on the map at this point. Oh, and we missed our turn. Damn. <laughs> so the quarry is over here. We haven't seen that yet. Um, what I say, guys, always check the map, right? 
I didn't take my own advice. That's uh, typical me. <laughs> Now we are on the right path. We are on the path to the last watchtower on the quarry map. Now I have no idea if there's a vehicle on this map or not. I assume there is because I think there's at least one vehicle on every map. And I didn't mark that watchtower. I should have. At least would let me know if I'm getting closer to it. The next left. This road right here should bring us to the last watchtower. I have to say, I really enjoy all of these maps so far. I have liked every single one of them. There we go. Off-roader discovered. Upgrade location discovered. New objectives. Alright, so let's take a look at the map here. Upgrade. That's, that's not far from us at all. There's the quarry. Now... I have no idea... If there's a vehicle on this map to be gotten. That's uh that's the map, guys. That that's the quarry map. We got that all taken care of. Um I will come back for the upgrades. I'll definitely do that, but I do want to get to that Zimnogorsk map and I want to try to find the Tuz Tataran on there. So with that being said, that's where we're gonna end this video. Uh I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give a big old thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. As always, I thank you for watching, and I sure do appreciate it. And we'll see you next time, guys.